YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. Today, um, I've already made like two or three other videos, but I don't know, it just seems like a, a blessed day. Um, nothing really extraordinary happening. Um, I don't know, Just it seems like everything just is going really good today. I got to get out here and work in a flower garden fake flower garden, I might add, and that always just lifts my spirits, and I, I, I love doing it, and it gives me a lot of time to stop and think, and going about, I hear a little kid over there crying, I'm checking it out. Anyways, what this video is about is keeping it Dutch. Now, I've been watching Keeping It Dutch for a little while now, um, actually was turned on by him through, am I saying that right? <laughs> that, that didn't sound right to me. Uh, through Daniel at Arms Family Homestead, kind of turned me on to Dutch. Uh, I'd heard him talk about it. I, I heard the little annex anecdotes or whatever they call it that they do back and forth and I kind of liked it. So thought, well, I'll go watch him. And honestly, the first couple videos I've watched were just they were they were okay. I just uh, I didn't really start watching him a whole lot at first, but then I started just getting bored and clicking on some of his videos, and it just kind of went from there. So by watching his videos, I learned that. He's a, he's a very funny guy. He is a, I don't know how to explain it. He would be very entertaining. He, he's what you would expect to see. Oh, well, I'll just tell you. He kind of reminds me of Doug on King of Queens. He's just a lovable guy that is goofy sometimes, serious sometimes, Drama sometimes, likes to pick on people at times, doesn't mind being picked on. Uh, I just, I don't know. Anyways, today he got his silver button or silver plaque or whatever it's called. I guess it'd be a plaque that for a hundred subscribers, a hundred thousand subscribers. I just, I couldn't even imagine. I think at the making of this video, I think I probably have maybe 150 subscribers. I wouldn't bet on that many, but probably somewhere thereabouts. So to get 100,000 subscribers, and in his video he talks about being watched like 20 million times or something like that. I, I just, man, I, he, he is worth watching. I mean, I really do like to watch him. Uh, anyways, I wanted to say, I've never spoke to Dutch, he doesn't know me from Adam, has never even heard my name, doesn't know about general vlog videos, doesn't know anything about me, and hopefully one day he'll watch this video. And when he does, I just want to say, from Ohio, awesome, you did a heck of a job. And congratulations on 100,000 views. That's just, like I said, mind blown. I, I can't even think of that. that that's just amazing. Uh, here I am, there, picking stuff out of my mouth. I just had Subway. And finished my drink now. But next, we've got to get Daniel at Armed Family Homestead. And before I made this video, I thought, yeah, I'm going to congratulate Dutch on this. Maybe Daniel's already got his or right at getting his. So I looked him up and, oh, and I just goofed it up. 99,393 subscribers. Wow. I mean, you're going to be there really quick. Really, really, really quick. Um, I just, these two people, 
I watch a lot of people on the internet. I watch uh, Doug and Stacy off grid, uh, but I watch them. Yeah, Doug's kind of he's goofy, and I, I like that. He's entertaining, but I watch him more to just to follow their lives and to learn. Um, and there's a couple other uh, Doug and Ashley at out in the country. I watch that, and I like that, but once again, they I watch them to keep up with what they are doing on their moves, on their journey through life. Uh, I think I think he is an excellent, excellent carpenter. I like watching him work because he does it and he does it right. That impresses me. Um, a musty one. Now he's a completely different. He's not a homesteading channel. He works on lawnmowers and cars and Volkswagens and Porsches and, and just uh, mopeds. Excuse me. Makes motorized bicycles. Once again, I follow him because like-minded people. You know, he goes to the yard sales and he shows you what he got. That's what I'm making videos on, uh, and it's probably because of him. Um, I would have never thought anybody would want to see those kind of videos. But when I watch Daniel at Arm, Arms Family Homestead, or Dutch at Keeping It Dutch, I watch those almost like a, like somebody would, I wouldn't say binge watch, although I've watched every one of their videos probably three or four times. Um, I, geez, I don't know how to put this. Like, let, let's just go back with like Doug and Stacy. I watch them like I would watch hmm, Rachel Ray, even though it's not really all cooking on their channel, just to kind of learn and to be entertained and just, you know, kind of fill in the blanks here and there great people. Um, I watch Out in the Country almost like you would watch um, This Old House. To me that's, that's what it really reminds me of is This Old House. And I like the simplicity of their life. But when I watch Keeping It Dutch or Armed Family Homestead it's more like watching Home improvement. Now, I'm not talking about them working on their houses. I'm talking the funny part of home improvement. They make me laugh. They keep me very well entertained. And, geez, I'm trying to think. Not that, that home improvement wasn't a good family channel. Because it was all about his three boys and his wife. But Daniel is somewhere completely different. I watch Daniel like I would have watched Big Bang Theory. I'm amused. Not that I ever learned anything from Big Bang Theory, and I learned a lot from Daniel. In fact, Daniel is the reason, reason that I'm getting my uh, packing. See, I'm drawing a blank. I get in front of the camera and I get all nervous and I twitch my hat and do all this kind of crap. Um, hot house. The greenhouse. There we go, greenhouse. He's the reason I'm getting my greenhouse. He is the reason that I'm doing the buckets with cucumbers grown in water. Uh, him, Leon, keeping it Dutch, a little bit of everybody is the reason that I, I'm doing the uh, self wicking buckets. And I think Dutch is more of the. Uh, Probably more of the reason that I'm doing raised bed. I'm, I'm doing one little raised bed in there. I don't even know how big it's going to be able to be. Hopefully big enough for about four tomato plants. Maybe a little row of corn back behind. Uh, maybe a couple peppers in the front. I, I don't know. I won't know until it gets here tomorrow and I get it set up. But they are very entertaining. The, these two channels in particular are very entertaining to me and make me laugh and make me smile. 
geez, that sounds corny. But it's true. I mean, you take somebody like uh, Daniel, you know, DJ his wife. Let's see if I can remember. Weston is the oldest, then Emma, and she's got M's cakes now. And then Houston, of course. And then they've got all kinds of goats and dogs. And if I really stopped and thought about it, a bear is one of the dogs. If I really stopped and thought about it, I could even remember the goats' names and everything. Uh, these people are, I'm not going to sit here and say they're like extended family or anything like that. I feel that way. But these are people that I watch on TV. I don't watch regular TV. I have regular TV. Uh, and every once in a while, I'll click over there and watch a couple shows. But if I want good entertainment and quality entertainment, I look for stuff like that. Another one that I really like, well, uh, let's, let's go back to Dutch. Dutch includes his family. The reason, and I don't even remember the episode, I think it is when him and Daniel and I can't remember um, some guy that, that was fishing and I think it was one of those and I think it's when they had the big fish fry and one thing that extremely 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 impressed me was that they bowed heads and prayed before they ate now, I know a lot of the people that probably are going to be watching my channel or watch their channel are into Christianity. I'm not trying to force it down your throat. What I'm doing, what I'm saying is the kids, the parents, and everybody did it. And that's the way I was raised. That's the way that I raised my children. So when I seen that, that made me kind of push in a little bit farther into some of his videos and that's when I really started getting entertained by him. Uh, Daniel, you know, um, I just, he's, he is probably, well yeah, I, I would say at this moment, because I don't know the rest of them, how they are extreme around their kids. We see Daniel with his kids all the time. Daniel is, and boy, I hate, no, nope, I'm not even going to compare him to him, because that guy ended up not being so great. Daniel should be father of the year. I mean, he is just, he is awesome. And how in the world he can go keep his full-time job, do a hell of a job on YouTube, edit, post, uh, keep up with the farm, keep up with the children, keep up with the activities of the children, still do the amazing vacations, and still manage to do us videos, because seriously, Daniel, if you didn't do videos on those vacations, we'd be lost. We wouldn't know what to do with you, without you that long. And once again, I have never met Daniel Arms, never in my life. I've never spoke to him, he's never spoke to me, he has no idea that I even exist. Once again, hopefully someday he'll watch this video. Anyways, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I wanted to go over? Uh, we did the flower garden today. Uh, we went to some sales this morning. And I didn't film any of the, going to any of the sales. They don't seem to like that too well when you're filming while you're going through the yard sales. I did a little bit afterwards. I didn't get much. I did, however, go afterwards to a couple more, and I did end up buying something that I'm very excited about buying, and that was a new bedroom set that comes with, oh, uh, it's just a whole complete set. Even the curtains, tie backs, uh, decorative pillows, everything for that. And it really, really, really excites me. Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, some neighbors were walking down the road. And once again, they, they just don't understand 
Why's that guy sitting there talking to himself? But anyways, I, I knew that they were going to want to stop and talk. Um, don't remember exactly where I was, but I don't know. I just, I feel like it's a blessed day. Um, I did get, however, get mine. And I'll turn you around, even though I don't think you're going to be able to see it. And I won't know if you're able to see it because I got my camera backwards or rightwards or whatever. Um, I don't know if we can zoom in. Nope, can't zoom that way. Anyways, see my uh, hummingbird feeder? It's filled with green liquid. Yummy, yummy goodness. Um, was able to get that done. Alright, so... Anyways, I think I'm going to end this video. Um, I know... Wow, that phone is... Uh, that thing is extremely, extremely crooked. Wow, wow, whoopsie. Man, all right. That's not much better, but it's a little bit better. I know I was right in the middle of yakking on and rambling about something. But one of the other ones that I did want to kind of mention, and he is, I actually go view his live streams quite often. Um, is Stony Ridge Farmer Josh. Once again, don't know this gentleman. He doesn't know me. Never spoke to him. Never emailed him. Never anything. Uh, <laughs> he is entertaining. And once again, you can also learn from him. Same way with all of everybody that I've talked about. It's just some people like Roseanne Barr. Some people like Tim Conway. Some people like other people, you know. You, you find that, that one person or that group of people that you really like. And that's who you watch entertaining. You know, some people out there will say, well, this show was the best. Some people will say this show was the best. That's why there's so many shows to keep us all entertained. And those are the four or five that, that really keep me entertained. But it's mostly Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Uh, Arms Family Homestead with Daniel and Houston and Emma and Weston and DJ and Bear the Dog and uh, <laughs> and I want to say the goat's name so bad but I just got done watching Crocker I think they're called Crocker Family Homestead and they got a goat named Stainer and that's the only thing that's sticking in my my head and as soon as I hit off on this camera that goat's name will pop right in my head. Uh, and there, there is another dog, and I know it just as well as I do the other dog. But anyways, it's just, I am so glad to have these people to watch on TV daily, nightly, all night, all day, if I so choose to. Uh, they got tons of videos in the back that you can go back and watch. And like I said, uh, Musty One, Josh Stony Ridge Farmer, Our Family Homestead, Keeping It Dutch, Out in the Country, I, uh, even My Damn Channel. Um, I probably watched all these people's videos three, four times each. They got a lot of videos. But I don't watch standard TV. I don't, when I come in, I usually don't get a chance really to watch TV much until at night. Now today I made an exception. I was having Subway. I seen that Dutch had put on a new video and I, oh, I gotta watch it, I gotta watch it, I gotta watch it. So I watched it and 100,000 subscribers. Absolutely unbelievable. I just, wow. Congratulations, Dutch. Um, I'm going to wrap it up. I can't think of anything else. I just, for some reason, I wanted to share with you. I just, I feel so blessed today. There's no one reason why. It's just a little bit of everything. My boy come over to see me today, my oldest. Um, he's 11, getting ready to turn 12. And he knew that I had some pedals and some seats and stuff for bicycles. And he was wanting to come over and... It, none of them worked. <laughs> so, 
he's anxiously waiting his new bike to be delivered and we're not really sure what happened. Um, I can't remember the, the company of the bike. Mafia Bikes or something like that. So he's, he's trying to make his old bike interesting again. And I wish I could have helped him out today, but I just, the parts that I hoard for these kids as bicycles, I just didn't have the right parts that he needed. So, but just everything that's happened today, I'm getting ready to go see my dad. Um, my stepmom is in the hospital and she's got fluid on her lungs and they had to drain it and he's gone to see her. Been gone pretty much all day so I'm waiting on him to get back so I can check up on her and just kind of generally hang out with him for a little while. If the wind stays died down a little bit, although as soon as I said that it picked up a little, I might have a little fire tonight. Sit out here and get me a, a cold Pepsi and sit out here and probably watch YouTube videos on my phone and listen to the neighbors, you know, I got a little kid over here, he sounds like he's having a blast. And just, I'm just gonna keep enjoying this day. I am really, really, really looking forward to this new bed set that I got. It is 100% Egyptian cotton 800 thread count with everything that comes with it. It even included pictures that hang on the wall. Anyways, was still in the packs, and I mean several packs. Uh, all total, I figured it up was over $700. The sheets alone, I guess you don't buy a set of sheets. You buy a flat sheet, you buy a fitted sheet, and they were like $83 a piece or something like that. Maybe maybe those were 60 something a piece. The pillowcases. Yeah, I, I guess it comes with shams and pillowcases, but there was extra in here and they were still in the pack. Even the pillowcases were like $39 a piece. And I'm like, wow. Um, I bought them at a sale. It was a huge, huge, huge waterfront. Uh, like a mansion on the waterfront and the lady just told me she said I bought them for the spare bedroom Well, she said guest bedroom. She said I bought them for the guest bedroom and She said I bought Queen and there was a king-size bed in there and She said she didn't want to take them back out and she got them at Home interior or some 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 kind of home interior store. She's like I didn't want to take them back. I didn't know if they would take them back. They'd never been open. And she's like, you know, she said, I think she had $30 on them. And she had two different sets, but the other set didn't have a whole lot with it. I think it was just like the comforter and maybe the sham for the bed, the, the ruffle. I don't think there was, and a couple of decorative pillows. I don't think there was a lot there. But I was interested in this set. And she told me, she said something like, well, I'll give you both sets for 50. And I told her, I said, I don't need nor want the other set. I was just looking for another set. And she's like, well, in that case, then 25 bucks for one. So I bought it. It's got four sets of curtains that come with it. It's got doilies that come with it. A lot of stuff that I won't use. But wow, what a set. Over $700 worth of bedding. For 25 bucks I I I can't beat it I just and I they're not quite my style and once I get it all set up um, once I get it all set up you'll I'll, I'll take a video of it to show you it looks like something that would be in grandma's house big flowery floral dark earth tone colors but I was looking for something as another backup I have a yellow set, I don't know, I think there's sunflowers or something. It's got the sham, the decorative pillows and everything. Then I have another green and brown one that is a more modern, it might be a floral pattern. Maybe it's not, but anyways, it's more modern. I like it and everything, it's a little too thick and a little too heavy for summertime. Excuse me. So I was just absolutely tickled to death to get this one. And now I have four or five different 
queen size settings that I can use and, and just switch up. You know, I wash my, my bed clothes once a week. Uh, I'm a guy, I sweat, I work hard. I do always take a shower before I go to bed, but you know, my kids come in and they sit down even just on the comforter and you know, they got dirty feet or dirty legs or what, anyways. Uh, and I like to be able to take them off, strip my bed, take them off, wash them, but go ahead and put another set on while I'm waiting for them to finish. But now the bad thing about that is, is I'm going to go ahead and use the curtains and everything. And I'll show you how in here. There's four sets of curtains and I only got one, one window. But I have curtains hanging over my closet that I have solid maple. Yeah, I think solid maple doors for it. But I haven't got them cut down yet and I don't know when I'm going to get to. So the only bad thing about it is once I put those up, then I change throughout my wash week and they're not going to look right, but maybe I'll just, maybe for a month or so, I'll just keep washing them every week. And, but anyways, I'm rambling on. This is General Vlog Video. Give us a thumbs up, a like, please subscribe, and comment down below. Please watch your comments. I have an 11, almost 12 year old son that is helping with the comments. I don't want to see nastiness down there. I'll just delete you. Uh, and block you from ever being able to view us again. Which I would imagine if you're leaving nasty comments, you don't care if I block you where you can't ever see us again, but that's what I'm going to do. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Anyways, um, and click that bell notification down below so you'll see when my next boring video like this comes out. I'm sorry to, to keep rambling on, but I just, for some reason, I, I felt blessed today and, and I just kind of wanted to share it with the YouTube families. And we'll see you on the next video. Hope you have a great night, an awesome tomorrow, and even better day. I think I said all that backwards, didn't I? How about, I hope you have a great day, an even better tomorrow, and an awesome tonight. And we'll see you on the next video. And unfortunately, I have to stand up and click that off button because I'm my own cameraman. And we'll see you on the next video. And no, I do not edit. See you later.